Marquette suffered a very tough break on Wednesday night, but which foot will they get off on on Sunday at Louisville? Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz. Glad to be with you here on CBSSports.com, breaking down a game which you can see on CBS this weekend. Number six, Louisville hosting number eight, Marquette. Let's bring in Clark Kellogg to break down this game. And obviously that break we're talking about, Clark, is Dominic James' left foot done for the year. What does that do to Marquette? Well, it does a number of things. One, you lose his production from a number standpoint. He's a guy who scores in double figures. He can get into the lane and create opportunities for other people. You also lose his spirit and his presence, his competitive spirit, his energy level at both ends of the floor. It affects your rotation. Now you have a second-tier guy, Maurice Acker, who comes in and has to play significant starters minutes. It affects your bench. So all of those things are what, the, what Marquette is going to have to deal with in a hostile environment at Freedom Hall against a very, very good and deep Louisville team. It is a very good and deep Louisville team, and it's especially deep up front. Does Marquette have what it takes to compete with the likes of Clark and Williams? Well, it's always a, tr a problem because Marquette is not a big team. Anytime they face teams that have strong front lines, they're vulnerable to being out-rebounded significantly. They're vulnerable to getting into foul trouble. The key for Marquette is to play its game. You can overcome being dominated or even being beaten on the boards if you turn the other team over and you win the three-point game and the three-point shooting game. And that's been Marquette's strategy all season long to compensate for its lack of size up front. Well, that strategy has had three guards that have been there now in their senior years. Now that's down to two. Uh, Clark, when you look at the fact that it's now just Matthews and McNeil, uh, how far do you think this team can go? Well, I never thought this team was Final Four capable. I thought this team had a chance maybe to win a couple of games, perhaps a third game in the NCAA tournament with all the pieces in place and healthy and the matchups being favorable. Um, but looking now to what Marquette can do, I think they're probably uh, maybe a one or two win team in the tournament. But again, it's contingent upon matchups. Without James, though, they lose an awful lot in terms of leadership, explosiveness, competitive spirit, and so forth. Um, so I think it's a very good team, a tournament team, but not one that's going to be able to make a really deep run despite its heart and the experience of McNeil and Matthews. What about the other side, though, Clark, with Louisville? Does this team have the components to make the Final Four maybe a national championship run? I certainly think they're capable. They're right in a group of five, six, seven other teams, um, Jason, when you consider they have two outstanding performers in Earl Clark and Terrence Williams. Terrence Williams and McNeil from Marquette, two of the premier stat sheet stuffers in all of college basketball. I like Louisville's depth. I like the fact that Terrence Jennings is starting to play well and give them solid minutes on the front line off the bench. They make threes. They keep wearing you out with their defensive pressure. Um, and they've got a Hall of Fame coach. So Louisville is clearly, in my mind, one of the teams that has a chance to, to win it all. And the team to win this game this weekend as well, Clark? I think so. Being at home, being much deeper than, than Marquette, um, and the way Louisville has played of late in winning four straight, I think the Cardinals will prevail. All right, Clark, we'll see you from Stores, Connecticut this weekend on CBS. Thanks a lot, bud. <laughs> Okay, Jason. All right, folks, and don't forget to uh, watch every single game from the first round to the NCAA championship live online for free with NCAA March Madness On Demand. Go to NCAA.com to find out more. March Madness On Demand is back for another year. For Clark Kellogg, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.